Hmm. Seems like this mechanic over here is just lazily finding his way around. Oh, God damn it! Why would you go back? <sighs> I can't understand staff pathfinding in this game. Ever. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? It's me, JD, and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Sandbox. Last time we left off, we built, um... If we go back over here, we built an underground path. Or, it's not actually an underground path, but more like an under-the-coaster path that would actually scare these people in the danger planes for a couple minutes before they're, before they're back at the station. That went under the coaster and made it all the way to this coaster over here, which I still need a name for. Then after that, per suggestion, we built an underground coaster. You can see it right over here with all the paths going down there. With the Cobra Roll right there, and a lot of other shit. It's not, um, it's not fancy like most coasters, but it does the job anyway. So today's efforts, um, I did post a copy, um, photos of this onto the Creator's Lounge per suggestion on Twitter. And this is mostly what I got for suggestions. Landscaping. Landscaping, building mountains, trenches, wherever you could call it. Uh, but mostly mountains because that's basically what we're going to do. Set this, um, let's set the, uh, let's set this thing to 25. We're gonna make a mountain. That was going too fast. And then we're gonna have it go all the way around here. Spread out this entire section with a, a mountain range. That is the ugliest mountain range I've ever seen, but we'll fix it as soon as we go along. Continue the mountain range down this end. And it stops right there. Give it a little decoration as we go along. I'd love to make, oh, wait a minute. I can make a sliver of it, just if I bring the, bring this not down to 10. Mark this area up just a little bit. Touch up here and there. Because I want it to extend past the boundaries of the amusement park, you know that? But still, that looks like a, an ugly mountain range, but that's okay. It, it deserves a lot of fixing. We'll get this little trench out of, out of here just as soon as we get this out of the way. At least that's what the terrain average was for. Averaging out the terrain one by one. Make it look fancy. Make it look less jagged, less edgy and more smooth. Like, of course you can't create that smooth feeling when you're going over the water. It's just not possible when you have a ride there. But that's okay. We aren't, we're happy with what we have at that lake want to go any further unless asked to. It's like the bane of my existence, you know? Just doing all this terrain editing, and it's not gonna line up with the, um, line up with the coasters correctly, but that's okay. We're working to just keep it smooth, keep it fancy. I don't want to, I don't want to make it so it matches up with the coaster and scenery and all that. It's just that, you know? And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this trench. Or get rid of this giant-ass mountain. Any more jaggedness? We can always use the uh, grid to help us. Over here we've got a bit of jaggedness that we can get rid of. Over here too. And over here. It's not too bad as far as we know, but uh, at least it works. Hilly valley side right there, and it doesn't cause a lot of pressure, you know? But anyway, now that we're over here, let's see what else we can do. 
Uh, get rid of the grid. Let's um decorate the mountainside with some stone, not tarmac. Uh, this kind of rock. Decorate the cliff like that. I'll just decorate the cliff side and then put some grass where it's needed. Touch up a bit on some grass. I'll just put it right up to here, because this is a small hill, really, and you don't need much of anything, you know? So, back to the grass, we can just get the top edge of the hill grassy again. A lot of peeps are hungry! Thank you! I already put enough food stalls for everyone, and no one's going there. And... Let's bring the... Let's bring that spray down to about three, so we can put some grass, so we can click to put some grassy marks on there. My sister's gonna pass by. I didn't want her on camera, but she might end up being there. Yep, they can actually. Uh. <laughs> oh god, it! Mean! <laughs> oh, my sister's crazy. That's the first time you saw. Hello, followers! <laughs> hey, Chloe! Hello! This is my puppy, Chloe! Uh. <laughs> Alright, send her for the night. Over here. Uh, I wish you had fun seeing that little puppy there. This edge seems a bit off, so why don't we, um. If we can, let's, uh. Get that there. Okay, that's just gonna be stuck like that. For the time being. I might fix it up sometime off screen or something. Oh, anyway. I don't know if I did terrible, but, um... Maybe I can paint it up a little more. See if I can do that. Make the brush 10. Yeah, I finally figured it out. It's called a brush. Thank you for putting that comment in advance. I'm sorry if I sound a little off today, but... One. I'm, uh... Got a post nasal in my throat, and two, my sister and the dog you just saw earlier are sleeping, so I gotta be quiet. Right, so now that that's over with, I might be able to use that mountain range for something a little later on, but for now, let's just see what else we can do. Scenery editing? No. I've had enough of coasters today, why don't I just, um, make a small and, uh, calm right for once. And, let's see what we have. Uh, Haunted Hotel, Ghost Train. Could probably make a building for the Ghost Train or Haunted Hotel, but it's gonna be a while. Um, what I might find really interesting is that when the Double Deck Observation Tower, Hershey's Kissing Tower, um, observation Tower, those kinds of rides. When I see them in certain parks on like RCT Go, Creators Lounge, my game just rejects having to having peeps come off. It's like, why can't you come off? You're gonna rot up there. That's what makes me uh, excited about Rollcoaster Coast Tycoon World. I'm hoping that they fix it finally for a 3D environment. So let's see here. I'm, I did many helicopters already, so why don't I try something along the lines of um, something that's coaster-like but not actually a coaster. I can try um, the steeplechase, which are the little horses. 
make that the above ground coaster kind of thing. Um, I'll worry about colors later, but for now let's just make three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is going to crash right into our little thing. Let's move it back a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And that's going to crash into the coaster. All right, so let's roll back here. And this is where I'm going to make the second chain lift. Yes, it's possible to do chain lift number two here. And I want to make this steeplechase feel the most impressive that you guys would actually love seeing. Go around. And that is going to crash into the coaster. All right. Right now it's going to crash. All right. Make that. Make the lift go up a few ways and then down. Surprise, there's no brakes on here. And we'll collide with that. Okay. We'll worry about colors later. But for now, let's just put the entrance right there and then the exit over here. That looks like a professional coaster to me. My first real professional coaster. Can you guys believe it? So let's go white. In fact, that's not a real coaster anyway. White. Let's leave, uh, let's go gray. How about it? Or rather, um, blue and blue. We'll buy up blue for that. Uh, or rather, let's flip it. Make up your mind, JD. Please. Uh, this is colors for lights, colors for cars. Uh, white horses. Or you know what? Is that going to be the... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I might have a name for it, but I just want to confirm with you guys, too, about the name, because... Yeah. It might give you an idea, but here's the test. Going up a chain lift. Let's see if it makes each of these drops. Goes around like that. And whoa, drop! around like that. Does it make it to the end? And yes. Up and down like that. Bring it around to here. And then go like that. Will it make it? E barely. That's why I put the chain lift next. Up the next chain lift. This is probably where the real excitement's gonna be. <laughs> Down like that. Around to the front again. And whoa, coming down over the coaster again, over the path. Down like that. Around, up above. And down back to the station. That seems fair, but let's take a look at the test results. It's gonna take a while yet again. I wish I had dueling coasters. Oh. That's a good rating. I'll take it. Like I said, I, w I wish I had dueling coasters in this park. Can you think of any ideas for that? Anyway, let's make a path. Like this, go around like that. Make the path like that. I know it's not supposed to be the all-natural fancy that you wanted, 
I mean, it is fancy, but I think it looks messed up. Just my opinion, really. Last step, cars. And open her up. So, to um, conclude today, here's what I need names for. I need a name for the looping coaster. I need a name for the stand-up twister coaster. I need a name for the steeplechase. steeplechase and I need a name for the swan boats. Shops we'll worry about later. The information stall we'll worry about later. Um, and just some general ideas and feedback. Like I said before, um, do you have any suggestions on a dueling coaster that I might consider? How about um, any type of trees that you want on the hills or the, or the mountains that I created back there? Just post it in the comments. Let me know what you think. And we should be all set. But anyway... That will do it for this episode of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Sandbox. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, leave a like, post your comments, let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, wherever. I can't even hear myself. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See you next time, everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this amazing video. If you like it and want to see more, let me know. Post your comments, leave a like. Don't forget to watch the videos up here and here. You'll like them just as much as you did this one. All my links are down below. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch if you want to keep up to date with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more videos. See you next time, everyone. What are you still doing here?